Oh man, so I've just seen something in the charts which suggests that Phantom could be heading to the downside. I did warn about this yesterday, but we're coming to this critical level now, which if we don't get a bounce from this, we could be seeing further downside risk. And I want to bring you guys up to date with that so you're not caught unaware and you also know what the downside risks are and what the upside risks are in the short term based on what I'm seeing in the charts. But as always, guys, if you appreciate these videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and also go and collect your free money. OK, so we've got Swissborg offering up to 100 euros, guys, if you deposit 50 euros or more. I know a lot of you are taking advantage of this. You've also got Coinbase offering $10 in free Bitcoin when you buy or sell $100 or more in crypto. And you've got BlockFi offering $10 in Bitcoin when you just deposit $100 or equivalent in crypto. So go collect your free money. You can never have enough exchanges. Go and get that done, guys. So let's look at the phantom chart now, because you remember from yesterday, and you can still see my diagrams on here, that we had this really important level, which is the neckline of our in initial M pattern, which we tried to turn into a W pattern. OK, so what happened was if we if we recap and it's probably easier to look at this from a four hourly chart, let's try it on the four hourly chart. Uh, you can see the following. OK, so you can see here we started our M pattern, which was a bearish pattern broke to the downside. And for this, our neckline was at the $2.86 mark. Okay, So you're going to have to remember this $2.86 mark because this is a really important level. We then managed to pick up some support. We went and tested the $2.86 mark, got rejected. Went again, tested it, got rejected, created an ascending triangle, broke out, met the price target, and went back down and lost the $2.86 mark. We tried to fight back through it again, and then Bitcoin had its dump. OK, now you can see the following. If I come back out to the daily, you will see from my previous drawings uh, that I mentioned there is a risk to the downside and the risk is as follows. So let's take a look at this here. So we can see exactly that if we weren't able to hold the neckline, if we weren't able to hold the neckline at two dollars and eighty six, which is this one right here, then you can see from my diagram, even from the uh, the pictures previous uh, from my drawings previously right here, you can see that we're then going to test this next level back down here. And that next level comes in at the two dollars and forty seven mark. And what is the significance of that? Well, if you go back, you can see this was the level which we had to break through initially where we were rejected from our initial run when we came out of this triangle and we held it as support here so this is a very important level for us to hold and if we don't hold this level we've got further downside risk to even one dollars and 94 on phantom okay so we need to be very careful if i bring out the ema ribbon you will see that initially i wasn't concerned because we weren't penetrating the ribbon but now four consecutive red days in phantom we're now getting well into our ema ribbon so i'm not flipping bearish just yet on the daily time frame uh we're not bearish just yet but we can see that we could easily become that if we manage to if we lose some of these key levels so you can see the neckline where we're at right there at the two dollars and 46 mark it's really important that we hold this level uh we want to see a close above this mark and we want to see a new candle hopefully opening up tomorrow uh we've still got another 13 hours left of this candle so there's not a you know there's a reason we, there's a way we could still turn this green on this daily candle but if we don't and we continue to head down and have another few bad days we'll be coming to test this support level at two dollars and 37 and then after that you're looking at all the way down at one dollar 94 and at that point we would have flipped bearish on the daily time frame so i want to bring you this as an update on the downside but what are we looking at on the upside well you guys know how bullish i am on the upside and if we just take a moment to zoom out you can see that this is not just yet a reason to be alarmed and what you can see here is every time we head down to test the EMA ribbon, this one being an obvious one to see here, we almost lost the EMA ribbon, right? We're further down than we are now, but you can see exactly what happened thereafter. You managed to pick up some strength and you go on a run. And that's what we want to see from Phantom now. Before we were saying this call off was not enough. I mean, this call off here was not enough. We didn't even touch the EMA ribbon. Same on this retracement uh, on this one here. We barely went into our EMA ribbon. Now is the first time for a while that we've really gone and tested our EMA ribbon. So this is a proper retracement from Phantom and it's important. It's healthy and it could be good as long as the balls come in now and give us some momentum to the upside. So really important that we see that to the upside and then we can go and retest our all-time highs at $3.50. So you can see the exact scenarios are the ones which I drew in yesterday's video 
uh, which are either the first one, which was bounce off of our neckline. We didn't manage to do that for this option. Now we need to go and test uh, the next level further down, uh, sitting at this mark here at $2.46, $2.45 mark. Okay, so there's your update on Phantom. That is what I'm seeing in the charts, and that's that is what we need to be watching out for to the downside. If you're trading this on the short term time frame, you need to be super super careful of that. But as always, you guys know this is a longer term hold for me. It's a higher conviction play. Uh, I want to buy and hold this thing, and so for me, I've, I've not currently got a, a trade open at this point. Um, but if you are, do your correct analysis. Make sure you've got your stop losses set. You've got your take profit target set and you know what you're doing. If you're holding this for the long term and you're getting a bit anxious, do more research, build your conviction in it. And if you can't build enough conviction in it, in other words, if Phantom was to retrace right now, very likely, guys, to $1.90, right? I don't mind if it does that. In my head, I program that even at $1.90, $1.60, am I keeping Phantom or am I going to panic sell? And if I'm of the orientation that I'm going to panic sell, that means I haven't got enough conviction, so I go and study more. And if I can't study and convince myself that it's a high conviction, then I need to reduce my position in Phantom because I don't have high conviction therefore i'm just speculating right so really important that we understand that if you want more insights like that then as always hit the like button and subscribe you guys know i like to bring a blend between technicals and fundamental analysis to help us build wealth over the long time in crypto right we want to do this over the long run we want this to be sustainable and we want to do it for a long time we don't just want to sit here gamble on a meme coin and hope to hit a home run this is about doing it in a sustainable safe way and if you appreciate that join the community Pin comment will be the link to our free public Discord channel. Head over in there, meet like-minded people. I answer questions in there as well. You can vote on what coins you want to be covered on this channel too. Uh, so lots of fun to be had there. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.